Hi, this is Suzanne with SKT. SKT has been serving Southern Kansas for 80 years this year, um, and we're so excited just to learn about the history of our towns uh, that we serve. And so we're here today in Howard, Kansas with Marsha. Marsha is the curator at the Benson Museum located here in Howard. And so we're so excited that you have uh, pulled together some information for us um, to share about just the history of Howard. So thanks for having us. You're welcome. Um, can you tell us just um, a little bit about the building that we're currently in right now? Okay. Well, the Benson Museum has seven buildings in Howard, and I call this building the Auxiliary Building. And in this building, we'll find a quilt display. Most of the quilts that are on display are friendship quilts. Then we have a general store and post office and the doctor's offices. We have Dr. Bukley and Dr. Reeds who are, who are dentists in Howard. We have their offices in this building. And then we have the military artifact building, artifact part of our display where we have uniforms and um, military artifacts from several of the wars. Very cool. Um, so I think that's where we're gonna focus on this video uh, today. Uh, so can you just tell me a little bit about the early settlement in Howard and kind of how it all got started here? Well, people started coming to Howard in the late 1860s. Um, there were people here 1869, 1870. We'll celebrate our 150th birthday along with Longton and Elk Falls next year. Um, and most of those early settlers were veterans of the Civil War. Mm -hmm. So they were young men who had gone to the war before they were mature adults and then there were people that were um, farmers, business owners, fathers, brothers who uh, went to the war and then when they came home there was nothing for them. Their farms were gone, their homes were gone, in some cases their families were gone and so they came to Howard, they heard um, free land, their motto was to Kansas or bust so they came to um, Howard, to Elk County, where there was plentiful water, and they just overran the prairie. Nine out of 10 of the early settlers of Howard were veterans of the Civil War, most of them Union veterans, a few Confederate, but not very many. Cool, that's so cool. Um, yeah, so can you tell us just a little bit about the current veterans that live here um, in the city of Howard yeah. or surrounding area? Howard is lucky to have a an American Legion post. It's Carter Raider Post number 149. It's named after two World War I veterans who died in um, World War I. Um, these veterans meet monthly. There's a ladies auxiliary that meets with them and their purpose is to serve the veterans of the community. So we, uh, they march in parades and they um, do a Memorial Day weekend event and they serve all of Elk County now because there are no other American Legion posts in Elk County. So on Memorial Day weekend, I think it's the most exciting time for them. Um, we start out on Friday, we put out 500 small flags that represent the veterans who are buried in our cemetery. We look for markers. Of, we have markers for the American Legion and the Ladies Auxiliary. There are markers that um, families put out that uh, list the service um, that they were in and the wars that they were in. There are special markers um, we found that were from the GAR, which is the Grand Army of the Republic, that had a post here probably um, in the early 1900s um, that are Civil War vets. And then there's a, a marker that I found that's a really old marker that looks kind of like a scroll and it says post 21 or 23 on it. I think that was the post number of the Grand Army of the Republic. And the Flint Hills Boosters 4-H Club and other volunteers from the community will put the small flags on all of those, where all of those markers are. And then on um, the Memorial Day itself, we put up 250 some flags, um, full size casket flags, most of them are, that were given by families of um, veterans when they died. They gave us the casket flags and we'll put those up all around the cemetery. And then we'll go to Granola, Longton, Moline, and Elk Falls 
and do a memorial service as well as a memorial service here. They also like to march in the parades. Yes, of course. Um, and we usually have a float that uh, some of our veterans will ride on the float and the ladies auxiliary members. Um, they also work with the hospital at the Veterans Hospital at Wichita and the um, Veterans Home in Winfield. We're going to take um, a carload of gifts to Winfield this week. That's very cool. So That's for the cool. veterans. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing all of that with us. Um, we look forward to more history with you uh, coming up in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, thanks for sharing your knowledge. That'll be great.